So one thing that's come up is that in Microsoft Teams in the files area, anybody by default can edit the files. As a teacher, you might not want this. You might not want the students to be able to change or modify or even delete the files. So what's actually running Microsoft Teams is an older platform called SharePoint. So you can change the sharing of files at the individual level. What I recommend is actually creating a file uh, or folder rather, maybe something called locked files, something like that. Now you can do this with a file or with a folder, click the three dots and it gives you an option to open in SharePoint. Within SharePoint, you have a lot more control over how people can access the files. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to hit the general button because that's the name of the, the folder. And I had created that locked files folder. I could have done that in Teams or here, either way. There's three dots and you wanna look for manage access. Now, when you do that, this is the name of our team that we're in. That's what it's currently uh, shared with. This pencil means that everybody in how Teams can help, um, can edit it. So what we wanna do is wanna hit this pencil or the, the arrow next to the pencil and change it to can view, but not can edit. Uh, you could change it to stop sharing and then they won't even see it. So you might find that useful if you're putting files ahead of time that you wanna turn on and off. Uh, also, if you have a bulk amount of files or files with a folder structure, uh, you can actually just drag those over in the browser and put them in here in one step. So if you're somebody's got a massive amount of files, that's actually very useful. But to the question at hand, just change this to Ken uh, view. And then you can go ahead and close this. Now, if a student tries to access this folder, they will have read only uh, access. So uh, I think I'm logged in as my daughter here. So um, I have a daughter in the district. So I'm logged in as her. You can see she only has uh, read only access. So if I want this folder here, or if I want a file there, I, I can move it. Uh, I will say you can't do it right in Teams, unfortunately. You'll have to do it in uh, SharePoint. So again, uh, you're going to uh, open in SharePoint. And then I made like a test file. So I'm gonna go back to general. And the nice thing about SharePoint is I can just drag files. So I can just take this, drag this example file into there. And now it will be, um, in the locked folder. So now if I go to my daughter, it's probably gonna take a little while to sync. But now we see the uh, example file in there and see how it's got this icon here. She only has read only access to it. We go back out to the general and we no longer see that file because it's, it's there. So I know it's a little bit of a hoop to jump through, um, but if you're somebody who wants their files locked to students, this really is the easiest way. Although once you create this locked folder, any file you put in there is gonna automatically be uh, locked. So I would go with moving files in and, uh, in and out of there. So hopefully you uh, find that useful. But again, what you do is you go to Files in Teams, and then you click on the three dots, open in SharePoint, and then what you're looking for is to manage the permissions. So you might have to go above the folder because this is a subfolder three dots and you're going to manage access and you're going to change that from a pencil to kind of like an eyeball so I'll have a uh, that so yeah hopefully that's useful it's not for everybody 